Hello Stampers, it's Jackie Ballhuis from Clomp and Stampers. Today we're going to play with the Playful Penguin Stamp Set. This is one of those sets that I just have to call stinking cute. These guys are adorable and they're great for all occasion stamping for anybody year round. I'm going to show you four different cards with this stamp set and I think you're going to fall in love with these guys and their little personalities just like I have. So let me go ahead, flip the camera down and let's get stamping. Here's a better look of the stamp set. Aren't they just adorbs? I look at these guys and I just see so much personality. And in the four different cards that I have to share with you, I think you'll kind of see the personality in them as well. Now, great stamp set for year round. And it's one of those that I always say, don't limit yourself to the greetings in here, even though there's some great greetings and you might even want to use these greetings on something else, but pull in some other greetings to make all occasion stamp set. Now, I have a couple of tips I'm going to share with you today because this is a very detailed stamp set. So we've got to make sure we get a really good image and we're going to do some masking. That's a technique I haven't done in a while, but it really lended it um, to this for a couple of reasons. So, like I said, I have four cards to share with you and I'm going to just start out by stamping on some scrap paper here to give you kind of the tricks of tricks of the trade for these cards. Now, let's go ahead and grab our Memento Black first. I mean, these guys, they got to be stamped in black. Um, now, for our masking, and, and if you've never heard of the masking technique, what it really is, is making one image appear to be behind the other image. So in this case, we're gonna use these two penguins and we're gonna put them together like a pair. Okay, they're gonna be a little couple. And I want this guy to have his arm around this one. Now it's important to kind of think it through because when you're doing this, whatever image you want most in the forefront is the one you stamp first. So we want, this is gonna be our little girl. She's gonna be in the front, so we stamp her first. And then we're going to take that same image and grab some post-it notes. And I'm gonna stamp that same image on the post-it notes. Now my sticky part's up here. So I wanna get as much as I can of the image to kind of be picked up on the sticky part. That's why I went on kind of that strange angle there. And then we can peel that off. And I'm gonna just take my scissors and I'm not even gonna cut out the whole image. Um, you can if you want to, but all I'm really concerned about is the part of the penguin that the other little guy is going to appear behind. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. Now, there's a little trick when cutting. I don't know if you can see here. See how I have a very little bit of black that I've cut off? You want to make sure when you're cutting out a mask, you cut right on the little bit on the inside of the edge of the stamp. Um, you know, normally, we'll come over here. Normally when I cut images, I always say, leave, leave a little bit of the black. You know, that's how I would cut normally if I was cutting this to layer it. But when you're cutting for a mask, you wanna just almost shave off a very little tiny bit of that edge line. Okay, so we've done that. Like I said, I'm not even gonna, we can kind of snip some of this to get it out of the way. But this is all that matters because I'm gonna go ahead and take this one and cover up the image that I've stamped on my scrap paper here. Now you can see when I lay it down, I want to make sure that you can just barely see that stamped image. And I don't know if you can, you can tell here, but I'm seeing a little bit of that stamping on the white because that will prevent what we call ghosting. And I'll show you an example of that here in a second. And then we're gonna take the guy that we want behind and I'm gonna stamp him right on top. So it's going onto the mask. You can see, you know, right here, it went over that part and it went over that part. But when I peel that mask off, he didn't stamp on her. So now you can see you've got, it looks like he's coming from behind. Aren't they cute? Now just so that you understand this ghosting thing, let's go ahead stamp this one one more time and we're going to make believe that i didn't cut so close so we're going to kind of move it out a little bit so now i'm not seeing any of the white below okay the stamped image below Let's see if we get enough and when i stamp this one now you get this ghosting 
And this is what I'm talking about right here. Because of the ridge of that mask, this didn't come right up to the image where you can see here, they even touch. So that's why it's critical that you make sure, let's see, that's the one we want here, right? Yeah. Um, make sure when you're cutting this, you cut just even a smidgen of that off and then they'll, they'll mask really nice like that. So that's how we mask and put those two penguins together. Now another tip has to do with, we've got the bow tie and the scarf and the little hat in here. Now these, again, are very, very detailed stamps. These, I don't think they've called these distinctive, but they're, they're kind of that way. You wanna make sure your ink pads are not too wet and juicy. So we'll do a, what not to do and then what to do. If I, I've got Pacific Point here, you can see I don't have a ton of detail in there. So what we're gonna do is let's grab our chamois. We're gonna clean off our stamp. If you guys don't have a chamois yet, best thing in the world. Then we're gonna grab my spoon. This is my spoon trick. And I just move my ink off to the side. Anytime with these ink pads, a little fuzzy in there. If you feel like they're too juicy and you're not getting that nice detailed image, if you move your spoon or use your spoon, look at the difference. Um, it stamps so much better. Now with these guys, you could, um, and you can, you know, try to eyeball it and stamp right on top. Ooh, I did pretty good there. But I personally, I don't like the look of stamping. It's kind of like stamping on stamping and it's not super clear. I think in this case, and it's not hard, um, use your scissors. And here's where you want to cut and leave just a little bit of that white edge. You don't want to cut part of your image out, but you can fussy cut these and then when you layer them on top of the penguins, they're just way cuter. So you're ready to see the four cards I made after I showed you some tips? Let's set this aside and let me grab them for you. So I decided to use all fun, bold, bright colors on these, but here's the two little guys. I think they're the little love penguins. And I did use a verse from in this, nothing warms your heart quite like a good friend. And I thought, how adorable is that? So here you can see where that scarf is cut out. And then this hat, because it's not really stamping on top of stamping, I did stamp that one on the side and that worked really good. And then I even like there's this little image in here, this little guy right there, that gives you the um, the little ground. Okay, so then let's go ahead. All of these are cute on the inside, um, always by your side. And I thought the two little penguins, there we go. Then the second one, and this is where I said personality in these penguins. Doesn't this one just look like a sick penguin? He's just not feeling so good. He's kind of down. Put the scarf around him, and then I added get well wishes. Now this is um, a wish for everything, I believe. I'll have, um, and that, that reminds me to tell you, over on my website, I will have a blog post today that will show pictures of all these cards and it will give you all the colors I used, all the cutting dimensions, and all the supplies I used. So you can hop on over there. I'll have the link down in the video description for you and it'll take you over to that blog post and it'll show you a better look at them plus a list of everything I used. So get well wishes, sending healing thoughts your way. Now this did come from another stamp set and I think it's... I wish for everything too. I have to double check. It'll be over on the website. So there is that guy, but there's the three different penguins. I mean, this one looks like she's just kind of looking up at him where this guy's like, ho-hum, I don't feel good today. So then here's our congratulations. I thought this would be super fun, even for like a graduation card. Um, do it in the colors of the school. The little bow tie there is up on a mini dimensional and just did a background with the other ones and then a little bit on the inside. And then the fourth one, there's all three of them together with their little um, bow ties to make, may your New Year's dreams come true. And little stamping on the inside. But I hope you like these guys as much as I do. I just think they are absolutely adorable. Um, super easy to stamp with. There's not a lot of layering in here. Add some black, add some bold, bright color to match the, um, the scarf or the hat or the bow tie, and you can make a card for anything. So as always, if you have questions, leave me a comment or send me an email. I'm here to help you with all your simple stamping needs. These cards are simple, but they're not boring. They're cute. 
And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. You can hop on over to my website. You can place an order. Make sure you grab these guys. Um, the, the stamp set is in the holiday catalog that ends on January 3rd. Um, you don't want to miss out on this super cute little stamp set. So I look forward to stamping with you again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.